Crusaders sit atop the league with an 8 and 1 division mark and a 14 and 1 overall record. The chance to secure the number 1 seed in the balance last night as they welcomed in Saucon Valley. Panthers side Joseph Davis dominant on the glass early. He'll get the first bucket to go for the visitors. Then it's Zach Rogers, who felt very good from three. He'll have two in the quarter to go up 6-3 midway through the first. Cameron Bone getting in on the action from beyond the arc. Crusaders now up by seven. However, Saucon will cut the deficit to just one, trailing 13-12 after one. Back in front go the Panthers off back-to-back -back triples from Jacob Albert. Crusaders responding, though, thanks to a quick 10-0 spurt, giving the home team a seven-point edge with just two to go before the break. Rodgers already with 15 at the half, along with a six-point lead. Notre Dame up 29-23 at halftime. Panthers never coming within seven in the third quarter. Rodgers rattled off another 10 in the frame. He'll add two more from long range for a total of five triples on the night. He'll pace everyone with 27 points. Notre Dame leading it 46-35, heading to the fourth. The home team continuing to maintain that seven-point margin for another eight minutes. That en route to the 56-45 victory over Saucon Valley. This game was on our schedule, circled. I mean, our whole year we came in, we knew this was a tough team coming in, they were going to fight, and um, tonight we just pulled it out. Not just coming into their rematch with Saucon Valley, but also as a mid-game adjustment, winning the battle on the boards, making all the difference in getting their revenge over the Panthers, while also securing win number 10 in a row. When we played the Mad Saucon, they killed us on the boards, but um, they're a lot taller, longer than us, so we just had to muscle them out of the paint. Caleb Hobby did a great job tonight. Dane Vassallo muscling people out like he always does. Yeah, we talked, and especially before the fourth quarter, if we could if we could rebound defensively, you know, I, I thought we'd have a really good chance to win the game. We still need to do a much better job of that, though. They still got way too many second shots. Um, you know, we played without Colin Boyle tonight, who's uh, one of our leading rebounders. I think he's our second leading rebounder. So uh, we'll have him back for the league playoffs, and uh, uh, you know, uh, we'll continue to get better. On the scene at Notre Dame, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.